This lecture is about software engineering key takeaways. Software project management is concerned with the management aspect of software engineering. Software project management focuses on effort estimation, planning, scheduling, software process, process improvement, and risk management. Software implementation key takeaway points. Everyone in the team should follow the same coding standards, test-driven development, pair programming, and code review improve the quality of the code. Classes should be implemented according to their dependencies to reduce the need for test stubs. Software quality assurance encompasses a set of activities to ensure that the software under development or modification will meet the functional and quality requirements. Software quality assurance activities are life cycle activities. Software testing is a dynamic validation technique. Static checking, such as code reviews and walkthroughs, are performed in parallel. To detect errors, dynamic testing that consists of program execution must take place. Tests of suitable test cases, including established test methods, detect errors and validate the software. Software testing can detect errors in the software but cannot prove that the software is free of errors. A baseline defines a significant state of progress of the system under development. It consists of a set of configuration items. Software Configuration Management, SCM, is baseline management and configuration item management. SCM functions include configuration item identification, configuration change control, configuration auditing, and configuration accounting. Software maintenance is modifying a software system or component after delivery to correct faults, improve performance, add new capabilities, or adapt to a changed environment. Software maintenance consumes 60 through 80% of the total life cycle costs. 75% or more of the costs are due to enhancements. Software security is proactive rather than reactive, and it is an approach to constructing secure software. Consideration of software security should begin in the requirements phase and continue throughout the life cycle.